start doing scrolling. I was waiting for just it, like, yeah. It's nothing for me, yeah. I started then, doing the... Like, this is showing my age. I now do, like, the New York Times crossword and stuff. Mm. If ever I feel like I'm scrolling too much, I'm like, I need to do something intellectual. Absolutely, yeah. I, I really like, suck at crosswords, though. But that's my, I don't know, my new Right now, though. you know what I mean? You could... Yeah, you're going to get to that. Oh, oh, not, not being a front, we, I'm just a though. Yeah, so we, we beg to differ. Because last well, night was fantastic. I can shower there. Yeah, yeah. It's true. But like, yeah. I just start something and I'm just fickle. Like, my mind don't like, give me to it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's... And I try and be like, no, I'm going to stay with it. That's why he's been in band for 13 years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... He's trying to leave. He just won't let him get out. things that stick, yeah. Uh, not to blow smoke though, seriously, last night was incredible and I was watching and like, no discredit to any other band, but they were all shit. shit yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Johnny, how do you I'm really so sorry guys. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, like I just, <laughs> are you really trying to take the whole Gallagher yeah, let's approach? Yeah, yeah. alright, alright, right. right. no worries. We've been trying we'll be for the last couple of years. I feel really like... like me personally, I feel like you guys don't get talked about enough in terms of how good your live show is. Because yeah, we feel the same. <laughs> we got two guys. We're, gonna do no, it. That's We're all going to do real, it. For real, probably. <laughs> nah, no, no. I, I want to I wanna ask a serious question, though. How, how long have you guys spent really sort of like putting time into how tight you guys are, the vocal harmonies and that? Because they're all fucking flawless. That's just, that's just the result of loads of gigs. Really, we only rehearse before the tour. We oh. get like, and not even that as much as we probably should. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's like go through the set once and then banter. If you want to, <laughs> like, it's this the classic thing. It's like classroom learning versus physical learning. Like, if you go and do something for ages, you'll get like actually good at it. Yeah, and I like, and I don't even feel good at it. Do you know what I mean, I still feel like my voice is a bit shit, and I'm an average, very average guitarist. Well, the but, sound reflects it as well, like the way you sing. Like, you can tell that you don't put in there. <laughs> This is a thing though, before I was even in the band, so we met doing like a local circuit, you know, two day tour, weekend shows, whatever. The band was tight then. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the guy, the, while she sleeps has always been a tight band, even before I was involved. And, and that's probably well, also... Before I was involved, it was probably tighter. That's probably <laughs> also not practice related. Like, we met in 2001 and have been playing together since 2003. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so it's like it's a long. We time. are we we are rehearsed regardless to whether we rehearse or not. Do you know what I mean? Because of just yeah, how much time we've played we, with each other. We rehearse to like it's like once over in it, just refresh the memory, yeah. Yeah. get it tight again, then it's just all there. I also yeah. feel like the way you progress as musicians as a band is that you write music that is like reflecting the sound that you guys have. So the harmony, like Johnny was saying, like I asked last night because I had earplugs in, I couldn't hear you very well. Um, I was like, how was he? He's like, so tight. They sound incredible. Like, the harmonizing was in- incredible, but that's the way you guys write and play. You're just doing what you're strong. Yeah. I think it's all kind of accidental as well. We are, Obviously, we try and play to our strengths, but yeah. none of us will sit there and say like, I'm a great fry screamer and I've got the technique down. It's just like, it's always a learning process, but like we just we try and just feed off each other's like strengths and what we can yeah. do. Yeah. And-, and I think, I don't think we've all come from the idea where like if someone's like I'll take that like to take some some uh, strain away from you like we we've become the sort of vocal way we have because I know when Loz is going to be knackered at Gassed the end out. of that at yeah. the end of that line so I'm like I'll take that and then you you know we're kind of like in each other's peripherals all the time no, it's not a rehearsed way it's just like I can see that he's going to end there so I'm going to cover him yeah I really hope that my band watches this because they don't even do the fucking backing vocals I'm going to do all of those I just said most bands are shit and you're yeah. obviously thank you very them. much <laughs> yeah I it's not say, my fault though his band right <laughs> now is currently really setting up to play and he's here talking to yeah. you guys so <laughs> I'm going to leave here to go and play a set at Crowbar oh fuck yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome. yeah. awesome and then I, yeah. what time sorry, so guys. that's why ticket sales are shit yeah well everyone's over there I'm sorry I'm sorry that's yeah. Johnny's yeah. band. It's a 4,000 cap room. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well. There's going to be 40 people yeah, there. Should. What time do you play? 7 7.15. Yeah. That's pretty soon. Yeah. It's, is it? <laughs> Shit. Well, I better wrap this one up. Um, anyway. we, we talked about as well, like, the comeback into Australia quite quickly. Was that yeah. prior to good things? Was that the plan? You wanted to get back out sooner rather than later? This little... So, a few years ago, I think it was probably COVID, we kind of had this... Uh, We've like we, this, it was really safe to go and support, and we've supported so much for years yeah. that we kind of I think post COVID we were like, 
let's just go and headline everywhere and just see where we are. Yeah. And like, because that's like Europe's really good for us, UK is really good for us. That was like, that's our bread and butter. And that's just from going over and over again. And then, yeah, we were like, let's. So that first headline that we did with Loathe and Mirrors, mm. um, like we we did that to be like, should we just see how much ticket, what we were ticket wise, you know what I mean? And then the sort of bigger plan was like, well, let's do that and then come back and do a, and then do a good, good thing slot. Yeah. And then like, did you do those sideshows and good things and then like, and then see if that makes this bigger, you know? So like, and it's just like a fun challenge really to be like, let's go in and not rest on the like success of another band. Let's just go yeah. and see where we're at. And it's like, it's good. The shows are getting bigger. Yeah. It's it's wicked. (laughs) Do you or do you think it's shit? We can run on the answer this. Everything about it. I mean, the jet lags were a real thing. And every time before I come, I kind of forget how much that hits you. Like, I'm fucked up. Every time I close my eyes, I feel physically sick. (laughs) Stop closing your eyes. Well, yeah. That's the age, though, isn't it? But I don't see advanced stage. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I did enjoy the fact flights, last so. night how you you said, look, like we've had about two or three hours sleep in three days. At least you could do is jump around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like, and then yeah. everyone just feels bad. <laughs> and then you said you like this guy over here is yawning and throwing <laughs> the horn. <laughs> 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 it literally did. I was like, what the one? That was. Fuck and then hilarious. I was like, isn't that exactly what we're doing? That's <laughs> no, how we do it. Yeah. At least I hide the fact that I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. You're only hiding by putting a microphone in front of your mouth. That's the. Everyone thinks you're yelling, but you're. Yawn. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. It's uh, wicked here. That's, that's yeah, we it's weren't. contagious. But yeah, yeah, once you get over that, like we genuinely love it out here. So how's yeah, good. booking that stuff yourself? So because you went from being labeled to then running everything yourselves. Is that part of the fun now? Of like we can actually just take the risk and fuck around and find out the because main, we're in charge. The main things like yeah, just the, the management side of it. So that's like that's essentially the root of. Uh, the first point of call for decisions before you go we like we sell a booking agent yeah and we're using a label for services but we just didn't sell them our eyes so yeah, we funded right. the whole thing ourselves we just said can we use all your infrastructure to print some vinyl get it in some stores that kind yeah. of thing because you got to pick your battles with how much you do yourself you know but yeah. uh, so like yeah the, the plan always comes from us yeah now. like we, we don't have that thing where it's like fuck they want us to go and do that yeah we just if we get off at a show we just like discuss it or yeah just know it's the right thing to do and yeah it, it's made the band a lot of an, a lot nicer place to be in I think for us it's the been the exception of yeah, yeah, Liam yeah. over here it's and a few of the others it, yeah. <laughs> Everyone, the majority of the team is fucking over it really. <laughs> <laughs> two guys are enjoying themselves so isn't that all nah. that matters you know? oh you're not either <laughs> no yeah, just, 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 just <laughs> <laughs> he's the one in charge though so it's alright well, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it yeah. I'm like it's going great <laughs> yeah it's happening as a manager so this is working. yeah this is really like uh, unveiling some some Discussions yeah. that should have happened within the band yeah, months ago. This. Yeah, <laughs> me and Tamara actually. Speaking of discussions within the band, talk to me about set list because you guys are deep when it comes to albums now. Yeah, isn't it? Too deep. Yeah, is that becoming an issue? That's what she said. It is oh, an issue. Very oh, good, Johnny. List. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Like, <laughs> we all. <laughs> no, yeah. I think we struggle to pick singles a lot of the time, don't we? Yeah. yeah. To know what's best for the release and then for the set. And then there's sometimes we don't release a single, but it, we realize that it's really good to play live. Yeah. Rainbows is a perfect example. We didn't release that. I don't know why. I said we should have. Loz did say we, we should We all said we should have. We actually first, all did. And then we all yeah. swayed away. Yeah. 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 We should do this. Oh. And then we did it. And then we wrote another soon and we're like, no, we should do that. And then we ran yeah. with that. We should have ran with And then it's yeah. like the battle of playing, like what you know people want to hear and then what do we feel comfortable playing live that actually keeps a real vibe there. Yeah. We've done it before where we release a single, we play it live, and there's some songs that are st- the vibe's just not there. It just doesn't sure. translate yeah. for me personally. So with Rainbows, is that based on streaming? You go, okay, this is clearly some of the people that... It was just month. clear from when we dropped the album that it was like a fan favorite. Okay. Yeah. And we kind of knew that, but then yeah. we just didn't it so do it anyway. Kind of yeah, thing. right. We knew that Tempo as well because we jammed that song before it when it went to pre-pro, didn't we? It yeah. was like, it was in the room yeah. kind yeah. of beginning. But then even, even then, like, 
we go through the set we try and make sure there's stuff for older fans that have been here from the beginning and yeah. like newer it's fans yeah. he's talking about that have always just come, come into it now and we try and make sure there's something from every era of sleeves yeah. but even then it doesn't matter what you play you'll always get someone being like oh you didn't play this you song didn't, you didn't play Christ. Christ. Yeah. yeah for sure as long as yeah. we feel good playing it and, it and it sort of does that era thing where you can say there's something from Brainwash something from the North Sense or whatever yeah. you yeah. saw the set last night did you think it lacked anything no not at all I thought it was great I thought like you can uh, tell it's true. Yeah, no. What did you say in the car? Say what you said in the car. Should Johnny. I put? Should I put my Gallagher voice on? <laughs> I think it was fucking shit, mate. <laughs> that was that not was a Gallagher voice. Yeah, no, same accent. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I've got. To, I've got to warm up to it. I've got to have a point of reference, you know. So, um, yeah. no, I thought it was really good. Like, it, it was a good balance of everything. Yeah. yeah um, cool. And it was good to hear like a few of the newer ones in there as well. Mm-hmm. And the thing, I always find it interesting with bands when you've released a new album, especially when there's a little bit of a shift in direction like you yeah. guys have had, you know, you might, and it brings me to my next question is, do you, do you have any songs on the album that you've been super hyped to play or any, any albums that you've had and you've been super pumped for it and you knew in, in the jam room that it was going to mm-hmm. be a killer and it just fell flat? Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. That yeah. happens a lot. I think that's one of our, my personal main mistakes that I make. That I'm still, even after this long, it's a teething process to get that yeah. right. Because yeah. when you're in the studio, you can get so excited. You're in the zone. It sounds great. It feels great. But putting it together with five dudes and playing it in front of people changes everything. Yeah. And we've done that a few times where we do it, and it's like it just doesn't feel right. Therefore, we're not at 100% playing it. We feel like you're like, yeah, yeah. We were all just like, nah, let's just not do this live. We struggled with Nervous. That nervous we struggled one. with. I was hoping Ooh. you'd play Nervous But too. I actually <laughs> like, yeah, Nervous took a bit. I like it now. Like Our Legacy, an old one, I remember that. That was, was a big, big one, fan yeah. favourite. And I just, the vibe wasn't there for me. Yeah, yeah. okay. okay. Um, Still love the song, but like, when we're jamming it live, yeah, just, it doesn't. Just, it's also when you get yeah. to a point, like, the cohesion between the set is super important. If you're finding something that like has a lull for your energy, because that's one of the things that you guys have is a mm-hmm. very dynamic set. Like, yeah, you can see you're actually enjoying it. Yeah, and vibing off the crowd or faking it really well. Yeah. yeah. Also, we've got practice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> practice makes perfect. We're liars for living. No, that's definitely how the songs like stitch together, if you like, and how they flow. Yeah, is always how. It's Tonight we're playing those. Chemical Brothers. Fuck it! I was really? talking about that today. You doing yeah, it? We're yeah. doing it. So. Hell's yeah! Fuck. Just for crack. Yeah. I love Sorry, that. Sorry, speaking of set, that's what. Yeah. I'm like, well, this won't air until afterwards, so no one's getting the surprise ruined. Really? Fuck yeah! I was literally talking to my mate today. I was like. They did a couple of brothers soon. That's cool. Looks like yeah. I am coming back after my set. <laughs> people might be like, fuck's this gym? Yeah. Oh, there will be. By far. Yeah, yeah. No, I reckon no. people. I reckon it's a people pretty know. known tune. It's definitely a known it's tune. It's definitely a known tune. It's one of their top songs. So yeah. like, but yeah. also, if you, you don't know Chemical Brothers at all, you won't know it. But if but you, you, do, know, yeah, you won't be stood there being like, this is Chemical Brothers. You'll just be like, well, I'm going to sleep skate. What the fuck's yeah. the tune? Yeah. Return that route. Re- I must have missed this song on one of the rooms. That's a good... How do you feel about like bands throwing in more covers in a set when you because you guys have like a lot of fucking songs mm. is there anything being like oh we have so never many been too into it else. you know some bands switch and they just you know when like pop punk you have these bands that do like covers of pop songs yeah. and they mm. make them metal or whatever we've never really been into that but like we got to do this thing for Radio 1 and we're like well it's really fun to play so yeah, hell yeah. Like, you know what I mean I like you went with like hella outside the genre too that's yeah. a fun thing. That's the way to do it for me, anyway. I, that's what I love. Is that I how love you do it. Science. Yeah. You always go outside your genre. Yeah. Well, I don't like any music, so you make you make good music it. when you do covers. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. I just cover sleep songs. It's like outside the genre, but like secretly not outside the genre because it's if you listen to like all the synth stuff from the last few records, that's coming from that world of influence. That world, yeah. So yeah. like this is just basically us being like. No, this is what that sounds like if you play like double kick and guitars yeah. over it. Yeah, it's you know, kind like... of a nod to like where we take that inf- inspiration from anyway. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. The, the, the song has elements that we have in our songs anyway. Yeah. So it's like showcasing that. My next question is directly to you. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Using the ins- answer is no, I hate it. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Use an Insta, could you like do like a lot of like playthrough stuff before? Mm-hmm. Is that a good gauge for you of what people are vibing with? Because you do like, it's like, yeah. just like kind of wailing stuff and then be like, oh, this ends up being like yeah, the that, flowers. That's literally what happened to, to the flowers. Yeah. Um, so, I've done my homework. I know, mate. <laughs> Don't You're an avid follower. <laughs> um, when, when we started as a band, releasing music was so cool and secretive it was like Mm. you don't show anyone anything and it's Mm. like actually had tangible fucking weight to it now these days everything's so consumed so fast 
that preciousness I've let go a little bit. Like yeah. if people like it, they want to consume the content, whether whether if it's a full song or a little bit of music. So it is a good gauge for me. I'll just post a lead lick. If it does really well, I'm like, sweet, we'll put that in a song there. Yeah, cool. It's like a little mm. tester, so. Yeah. It also is, like, I feel like for the fans, it gives them something being like, oh, I fucking saw when they put that yeah, in yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. It is. But we, it's good to follow that journey of, I did see it as like a death yeah, and a yeah. And yeah. you feel like yeah. you yeah. were in the scoop then, don't you? Yeah. Like, But our old mentality was like, oh, we've given it away now. Yeah. They've heard it now, but it just doesn't mean anything. And yeah. they just want it and they want to yeah. consume like, it. So it doesn't matter when you drop it or in. Pickle are greedy. With how fickle exactly. and fast it is now. You're just like, you just like me. Oh. Yeah. Fickle and fast. Fickle and fast. <laughs> ladies. You ladies I think are like, and fast. I and think I'm also the... married. <laughs> <laughs> ladies. <laughs> ladies. I think the idea of like like gatekeeping all your own shit and being like, no, I can't do it. Like really just post whatever you want, whatever you want. Like, Plus no like, one gives a fuck. No. Yeah. Like, no, you just like new song coming. It's like, does anyone actually give that, a yeah, shit? Yeah, it like, feels less and less. Even though the band's got bigger. Out, yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. Sat there like, waiting. May as well just drop a song now instead of like hyping it as if like fucking nah, yeah, presidents. It's, it's all you know changing change yeah. the world with your riffs. Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit like, yeah, sure you are, pal. Yeah. You're not you know, there's someone out there watching this is like, oh, they really did change my world with that well, risk. Uh, I guess yeah, I'll go fuck yeah, myself. Yeah. That's awesome. like post a studio shot and it's like, what are we up to? It's like yeah. probably making a song. Right? Yeah, you're <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a guess. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise, you've made new, new music. Album? You're like, yeah. you're a fucking band. <laughs> <laughs> probably running out of money. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to, to make attention. an album. <laughs> It'd be great if like one day it was just like, oh, what are we up to? And then all of a sudden it's like, while she sleeps, toasted sandwich press. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. Hey. He wants to fucking e. open a tuck shop. Hey. Uh, is, there there's all these. I'm all about all inflatable all shit and side hustles. <laughs> inflatable shit. <laughs> like, this is the joke inside things. the camera right. at the minute. Is that okay. I just love inflatable shit. What, I'm like, I don't know. Then what is a product that needs to be inflatable that isn't already? Oh, great question. Oh, I don't know. Fuck. Um, your, your business sucks already. I have yeah. loads. No, no, you it's like when you go to a side, when you go to a jukebox though, and suddenly you try and put a song on you and your brain just goes numb. <laughs> um, what was your last inflatable purchase? And we'll go from there. Uh, you can throw, you can well, run through if you Jesse. want. It's not inflatable, but I got hey, a fucking... Hey everyone, this is Jesse. He plays in a band called Stick to Your Guns. Go and support them. He reckons you're Did you say though. don't support them or go support them? <laughs> don't support them. I said go really and support them. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, his hands are tattooed with the band. Yeah. But that's fine. Hey, uh, so I, I'm going to ruin my own surprise here, but when you talk about inflatables, I found a website that I can get inflatable little sex dolls but they're like mankinis and I put Johnny's face on it and I was gonna make some and give him away good things nice. you nice. fucking asshole serious that's cool so it's like a little it's it, the little mini inflatable doll. they're For about this fall. big <laughs> no it's more I thought it'd be fun to have a little Johnny float uh, in the man, crowd sure, my dick man. is never gonna fit on something that big <laughs> <laughs> they, they can print real small. Yeah, you've caught me off guard with there's something that's not invented yet that's all inflatable. I can't think of anything. Um, and also, I don't want to tell you any of my actual inventions. Exactly, because someone's going to patent it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah it's 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 You'll see them in the range in like the next few years. <laughs> they don't have the range out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These people uh, have just... Got a, I've got a, a, an idea theory. for a condiment that's not a condiment. Oh, That's all I'm saying. Can we hear about it after? Much. Not on camera? Yeah. Okay. Um, Do you guys like... <laughs> You're going to no, give it away. It's, yeah, a yeah. it's Vegemite Keeping based. Keeping everything else close to my chest. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. Okay. I don't want anyone to steal I would just say he wanted to open a tuck shop. That's, that was my I'm idea. a bit of a side hustle guy. You know, I'm like, yeah, oh, I yeah. could do this and make money. Like, oh, I could open a vintage shop or something. You know, like, yeah. That's doesn't matter what it is. I'm like, oh, have you done it? Are you a guy that... Comes up with ideas and actually follows through. No, I told or you. Or pickle and fast. <laughs> you have the idea. I should be naming yeah. your yeah, like pickle and fast. Like, like the idea comes and goes just as quick. Oh, you should take that market idea as a pickle and fast. I just sit on the idea and tell yeah, people, and then eventually it fizzles out. That's a big thing with this. I'm going to sound like an old man here, but with like current society, there's been like studies proven that people like talking about ideas releases so much like endorphins mm. that, that so people true, talk dude. about it and then don't do the thing. Totally, yeah. So true, dude. Well, for this condiment idea, my stepdad's like a pretty good chef. And I, oh, I floated yeah, the idea yeah. past him, and he was a bit like, it's going to be tricky. So it kind of made me a bit like, you know, if we could do, do feel a bit like it might not be doable. If we could but, do like basket. an NDA for all your listeners, you then, guys, we could, then we could air it. Sign it. Digital <laughs> thing is in the link below. Yeah. Go after you watch this, sign the thing. Yeah, this is now a law abiding contract. If you watch beyond this point, you are bound to not release this information or take. I'm not telling you anyway. I'll tell Imagine you guys if it later. gets massive and someone nicks it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a whole video about it after it's each other. It's not going to get massive. <laughs> 
Yes, Sean. <laughs> it's, it's not. Do you know? It's do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea. So you, you'd, you'd have it. You'd eat it. I would eat it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. would as well. It's a good idea. Yeah. I'd invest. I will invest. Is Loz getting offended by what it is about this? It's a funny item to get offended by, isn't it? No. <laughs> How dare you? No. <laughs> One day you'll find out. <laughs> I doubt it. Not. With but you know what? Flat. I might yeah. do a GoFundMe, so look out for that. You know uh, what though? Like condiments can make or break a meal. I feel like that's no shit, bro. Dude, yeah. McDonald's have released the same fucking burgers for sixty years or whatever, and all they've oh, done is oh, changed the condiments. Burgers. I got a pizza last night. Yeah. The fucking place didn't have mayo or any condiments. So I just got my pizza and it was just like Wait, pointless. you put mayo on a pizza? Yes. Wait a minute, you what? don't? What pizza? <laughs> you don't? What pizza? <laughs> any pizza. <laughs> any pizza? Wow. I'm not judging, I'm oh, you yeah. no, no, no. my world. You, yeah. you're not a stone-baked world, like the takeaway pizza. Okay, like or, or Domino's or, or, or Do you have a condiment for your pizzas? Is it necessary? No, I, most of I'll them just... come with one now, like the drizzle on top. If I don't get no, my I dip, want to put I do my, my order once. Okay. It's a, almost a right. Very controlling. I need very it. rarely <laughs> order yeah. takeaway yeah. Yeah. fast food ones. But yeah. I like like the we have like really good stone ones near my house, so I would get those ones over. <laughs> you don't need a condiment with a good like stone yeah. pizza. But if you got like a fucking dirty Saturday night pizza, you don't you want like a garlic mayo or some shit with that? I put mayo on fucking everything. Yeah, it's cereal, sick. Bro. You know, like when you eat something a bit too much, and then you need a condiment to kind of flip that flavour a little bit. You know, you get bored a bit. Yeah, like liven yeah. an old item up. Yeah, I've like, started. So if I eat half a fucking moment, big mate. pizza, I'm like, I need a condiment. I should dash. Yeah, yeah. Change, changes the flavour a bit. It's all new pizza. It's like a half and half. Yeah. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? I do. Yeah. 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 I, I stand by it. I don't agree, but whatever. <laughs> what, uh, Are you, do you just dislike it or are you just indifferent? It's just not for me, a little bit of sweet yeah. food. I just not now. I'm a real savoury guy though. What's your oh, favourite condiment? My favourite condiment? Yeah. Uh, I like, okay, so mine is a mix, all right? Now, okay. Yeah, so my two favourite condiments is Japanese kupi mayo. Okay. And then uh, sriracha sauce, the okay. spicy sauce. And I mix the two. That's good. And I have it on that, yeah. fucking everything. Yeah, nice. Everything. How do they go together? Incredible. I have it on everything. How's he not eating it? I'm zero. not like, oh, I'm still not sure about this. It's a dip round to his. It's. Don't want to do that. How? <laughs> isn't it like. I'm not doing that. <laughs> No. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like crazy. Like, yeah. It smells like together? pizza yeah. best yeah. mates. Yeah. They, yeah. Mix, they well. mix together really well. Okay. It's it's delicious. I'm it just makes that. it spicy. What would yours be? I'm not a big economy guy. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell. I, <laughs> I don't use, I'll have salad without salad dressing. I'll That's just go a dry salad. That's fucking psychopath Well, moving on from the salad thing, my favourite condiment is salad cream. What's salad? Salad cream. Cream. Salad. Cream. salad. Is it, as in like it's salad's been cream? <laughs> it's, it's, or cream to go on a salad? I think it's an old school thing. Heinz do it, but it's yeah, like a yeah. salad cream. It's, it's like mayo. Have nice. you ever made egg mayo with salad cream instead of the mayo? That's be salad cream, isn't it? No, you've got with smashed up egg in it, you know, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah. egg mayo's that and mayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like that with salad cream is fucking sick. Salad cream's real nice. And now it's I'm gonna ship you some over. You're gonna say ketchup, aren't you? Or something. Favourite condiment? Yeah. Mayo. Mayo. Yeah. 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 Thank you with this. Garlic mayo, or just mayo. <laughs> mayo. So just straight mayo, yeah. Garlic mayo at moments, but mayo for the general. Is yeah. garlic mayo? Is garlic, garlic? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Yeah, but a bit different. See, how you feel about mayo is how I feel about salad cream. Yeah. Here's a weird one. I put a Branston pickle on my shepherd's pie. What's a Branston pickle? Is it just What's like a shepherd's pie? pie? No, I know what a shepherd's pie is. Yeah, shepherd's Maybe these pie are more UK condiments. Uh, Branston pickle is like... It's like a chutney, oh, but it's like, like a, a but like like it's a pickle sweet, but it's sweet. But not okay. a pickled it's onion in like a fucking good dark brown goo. Sounds good. Sounds British. It's probably in English. Sounds Sounds good. Good. Mustard yeah. for me is my condiment of 2024. Mustard. It's giving what kinds? Uh, I must admit, I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> you saucy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm 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 using an American one at the moment because I'm. I'm I'm in a hot dog phase. Yeah. Like a classic <laughs> hot dog I like phase. a good hot dog. Do you yeah, want cheese like, in hot dog? Yeah, but it's like shit slice cheese. Like <laughs> underneath the dog. Yeah. yeah. And then like your mustard and ketchup. Yeah. And then I've just ended up having that mustard in the house that I'm like trying out stuff and it's fucking great. It like lightens up a sandwich. It makes a cool it more story. interesting. When we first came over to Australia years ago, we've all been veggie for a long time. 
and uh, we we'd only just discovered like Lord of the Fry. We've been here, we'd heard about it, so we made a beeline for that. And Aaron did this post of this like really sad burger, but like held it up like he was gramming it, and it was yeah very sad. And it was like a proper like limp like limp burger. <laughs> you know, like holding up a cheeseburger. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Being like finally I've got one. Yeah, we, we've just found it fucking. Hilarious. So uh, everyone just started taking photos of like shit food, but like lying. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, <laughs> Ah, brilliant. Brilliant. I love how half of this talk has been about comedy. I don't like to talk about the actual job too much. Yeah, I yeah. it's more it fun. Yeah. Yeah. They all know about that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. At least we're oh. definitely in the middle of Sydney right now. And yeah. All right. When you go on tour then, what is your go-to food that you need to try and find? Like, what's your, what's your style of food that you would try and find in any city that you went to first? Like, okay. especially... What? Yeah, McDonald's. McDonald's? Did you really? No. Fuck, my wife did Fuck. that. In the wind in Italy, she's like, gotta go to Macca's. Are like, you fucking kidding me? No, I don't. I did like, in Japan, you... but that's because Japanese McDonald's is I'm a bit of a slut, slut for Macca's, like, I've got to admit. Fucking dirty slut. <laughs> I am for Macca's, bro. <laughs> I, mean, I can be like, I'm not going to eat today, I'll be eating far too much crap, and then I see a Macca's and I'm like, I'm going to have to have a double cheese then. <laughs> double cheese. I like just sampling local cuisine, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, if you go somewhere new or whatever, like we're going to Jakarta for the first time on this after this. That's a cool ring, that bitch. No, you're like, thinking about like the scorpions on a stick. No, he fucking loves that shit. Have I you had tarantula, have you seen that? You know. It was it's fucking so good. Yeah, tarantula, and we was chat GPT in yesterday. Can you get AIDS from eating a tarantula? Can you? No, you can't. I think the jet lag freaked me <laughs> just out. Just I, was just like, I was just like, oh my god. He didn't god. say what he did with it. Just don't shag it. Someone man. mentioned it, and I was like, oh fuck. When did I you eat that? I'm fucking like last year sometime. Jesus. Every time, the year before that we went yeah. to uh, Thailand and they had scorpions and it was kind of a dare. They were like, you didn't eat one. I was like, of course I do. That's it. Not too bad. Then the, the chat came out, oh, we're going back to that part of the world again. You know, you're going to try something else. And I was like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Soon as we got I'm thick on fast, bitch. <laughs> soon as we got down to the, soon as we got down to the strip in like, was it it's Thailand? I mean, it's like the, like Bangkok, like me, you know, it's horrible. It's horrendous. It's like, like terrifying. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we got down we there, and as soon as we got there, there was this geezer with a massive tarantula on his face. See how my Instagram? But um, it's, it was like this fucking big. Was it hairy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just put did, it on did, my When they cook him, though, did it, does it like burn well, the hairs the off? So or? the scorpions are kind of like glazed, glazed yeah. with like the sweet glazing. Ooh, but like a honey like, barbecue or something? It was like flash <laughs> fries. There's hardly any flash uh, in it. It was just yeah. like eating a cold tarantula. It was mental. And when I put what it in, it? the legs folded out. Oh. And then the worst thing about it was the arse of it. Get the video up. Well, you, maybe link it. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The arse of it. You could have it coming up in like, this conversation. Yeah. It was Actually, soft. Actually, that's great idea. So like, the arse and the spider was soft and squishy, but like when you were chewing it, it didn't go anywhere. Like web, like, it's full like of web. Like for, for ages. And no, I was like, yeah, I'm like... gonna have like web in my stomach and shit. It would just like, look, like imagine like a massive ball of chewing gum that oh, doesn't like, yeah. it didn't break I was expecting it would pop and like, oh shit. Oh, it did, yeah, yeah. That's what, it oh, did? It did oh. but then it didn't go anywhere after oh, that. That's it was nice. like, so horrendous. It was a like that. Is that the worst thing you've ever eaten? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt, it was fucked. Have you, are we too soon to show for you to eat tonight? Have you had Mary's? I won't next eat. Door? I won't eat before the show now. I mean, I might have a, like a little wrap or something. The burger but... place next door here is they do a great oh, burger. Okay. Yeah. loads of veggie stuff. Yeah, I order yeah, some yeah. for like after I'll the set I'll buy one and just pocket burger. Yeah, we'll know. try that shit for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I expect to see that on your Instagram <laughs> later. <laughs> I'll post the shit one, well, yeah. So what's the worst thing you've ever eaten then? Uh, I stay in my safe zone. I've been veggie yeah. for like over 20 years. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. So like, I'm not like, ooh, let's try it. I'll tell you the fucking worst thing. I was like, so, I was like, no, I haven't done one. I ate a fucking century egg. In oh, fucking, those things are horrendous. In uh, last time we were in Hong Kong. Ironically, I was poorly for the rest of tour from the next day. Of course you were. And, uh, yeah, what, I was so like, what is a century? Like, it's oh, not like, really a hundred years. Old, no, I think they like they've they've like made it, was it black? like a year. Yeah, it's black, yeah. and then the like the yolk bit stops being yolk and becomes like this like see through jelly. So oh, fucked that up. is. And I had like one bite of it, and I I, I like literally felt a bit like oh no. Yeah. Yeah, See, I don't need to hear that. A bit like that with egg anyway. The same, yeah. The so eggs like, is one of my favourite foods. The same. I love so every that now shit. and again, when it gets a bit, yeah. Even yeah. when I'm just like, I'm gonna make a scrambled egg and I'm whisking it, and I'm a bit like, well, <laughs> <laughs> cook it. And I'm like, right, worst thing you've ever eaten besides my stick. Um, <laughs> The worst, worst thing. <laughs> oh, I don't know, mate. I like eggs and all. Not far from jizz, though, are they? 
I mean, they were. Exa exactly. Yeah, you've got to keep that out of your head. Like, it's it's like, enough to make like, you vegan, isn't it, really, when you start thinking yeah, about that. Like, you, you have I to, think it was one of the driving like, factors when I did try vegan. Is just you have to that. eat it without thinking about it a bit, like, mm. or cook it without thinking You're about it. You're the problem. You need to think about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but going back to that, like, what do you search for? For me, because we're not, you can't really main meal until you got a day off. Yeah. Like, yeah. dinner hour. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it's like, Finding like the sickest like brunchy spot, you know, like I want Sydney's here. Good, yeah. I just want Turkish eggs everywhere. Yeah, in Australia, it's like a bit of like a good Turkish influence. We so, feel like, like you do brunch really well. Really, well. oh yeah. yeah, yeah. We do all do, all day breakfast yeah. really well. As That's well. why I was angry that you're not doing coffee because <laughs> good I, coffee. I understand good reason. Yeah, yeah. But I'm disappointed in you. I know. No, I'd no, love no. I'd love a fucking nice coffee now. And what about have a decaf? decaf. I, yeah, I've been doing a bit of decaf, but okay. So I don't drink de I don't drink coffee from a fro. Yeah. Like ever. Obviously, I've had three surgeries on my voice in the past. Yeah. And one of the main like, one of the things is like acidic foods. What caffeine's quite dehydrating. And it's, uh, it's an irritant. Yeah. Like, it just irritates your throat. I'm so glad that I'm hearing about all these tips, like after, you know, like I said, I've got a set in an hour, and I've, an had, drink I've had a coffee and an energy drink. Yeah, I mean, but, it's, but it's like, you know, we know we've got friends at home from a band called Deaf Havana, and, like, he, they used to get smashed up all the time, and his voice is fucking unbelievably soulful regardless of how yeah, it treats yeah. so warm up around. I'm just a bit unlucky with that whereas <laughs> I have to live a bit cleaner to get the results out of my voice you know it's how, it's how you build don't change what you're changing if you if you if it works yeah. Some, yeah. some people don't warm up at it. and as well as Loader House is really like longevity based yeah we know that there's fucking three shows ahead so yeah. like you, that like, must be a big thing three? coming into it when you're starting no. a tour as well <laughs> yeah like, totally yeah. yeah I was like I had fucking tonsillitis like coming into this tour and I was like, I'm gonna be fucked. You yeah. know what I mean? Of like, like you've done well actually. Yeah, I've got kind of got over now. Fast. Yeah. You couldn't tell last night. No. Yeah, but it's, yeah I'm, I feel all right vocally now. I'm a bit tired, but like, yeah. Going back to that, I'm um, I'm trying to go down the tea road. Like, there's so many cool teas. Yeah. There is a lot of cool teas. You can yeah. like do that instead of coffee, and it's a nice without the caffeine ones. And there's still like a nice drink. Once to show you. I feel out. like tea is a very British thing anyway. It's a very UK thing. Yeah. I'm all about sleepy tea now. Yeah, same, yeah. I have to have my bedtime routine because I'm hella metal. Uh, yeah, like a really good... Wait, I'm going to mix that. Sorry to interrupt. I'm going to mix what you just said with what I said to my girlfriend last night with you guys. You should, you guys should come up with your own tea called Walshy Sleepy. Mmm, Valerian-based. Yep. I like it. Yeah. I like the idea of the tea. I don't like the name. It feels a bit like you're trying to... Man, the name is the selling point! Like you're That's to all he had going for it. The name's weird. Have you ever had an oval Yeah. Like an oval tea. Wait, is it a little chocolate? Yeah, while she's oh, it's, it's, it's like a oval powder. Tea is fucking it's like sick. nice and sweet, and it's like... It's like we used to sell like them a hot chocolate kind of... Yeah, yeah oval things great. tuck shops in little pellets. Little pellets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all just before it's that. Look, drink like that. squished rabbit Especially and with lizard. There was the other one that's like the beige version of oval tea. Nestle. Nesquik. No. <laughs> so yeah, I never remember this. Uh, oh fuck! You, know, it's, you drink it. It's like a blue logo. Yeah, you drink yeah. it. Nice. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Because I think it's the British thing. It's almost like the inside of a Malteser. It is like, oh. exactly that. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's like, like a, a malt, like malt flavour. Yeah, yeah, it might be called something. Whatever. Malt. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. gorgeous. Sounds good. Great before, yeah. Everyone watching this is like, why are these motherfuckers still talking about food? <laughs> Right. We're it's, we're that's kind of, it's kind we're of what time. our days consist of. We're just like, right, well, where are we going to eat? Because <laughs> yeah. we know about yeah. the gig. Yeah. Like, we know that that's going to happen. We're playing there. <laughs> the only other options are like, do you have some work to do? And then we need to feed ourselves. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, you know, downtime is overrated anyway. Yeah. You know, you guys just need to come in, do your work, and get the fuck out, right? Enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Somewhere along the way. Yeah. Try and yeah. get some days off in there and see where you're at. You know? yeah. When like you that. are when you are uh, you guys book your entire tour yourselves now yeah with a booking that, agent yeah like, is that something that you are totally actively time. trying to do is put days off in there ideally after three three on okay. one off because it's just for vocals really yeah if you're headlining you know what I mean playing like an hour quarter hour and a half 
and then you're trying to do that every night like for us I mean yeah some people can just go on forever don't they like yeah. but we just I think we need it after three Maybe it's I think it helps you stay enthusiastic as well if you get too many on a try you get yeah. oh, this is the routine where if you put yeah. a couple of strategic rest days in there you're always you know it's almost like, also like kind of demoralising if like you've been to Australia like three four five times and you've only seen the same cities dude, and the same we'll just areas we just sleep half of it yeah don't fucking remember we've shit. been like <laughs> I think this is like eight or nine I think it's fucking up there and we've swam in Perth once a fucking sound wave and then I swam in Sydney last year and they're the only times I've ever been to the fucking beach in Australia and swam that's why this morning I was like Jace was like do you want to go and swim and I was like yeah like Australia's supposed to be like about beaches and fucking Mm. surfing and shit I really wanted to swim but the night before that I had one hour swim tomorrow yeah let's do that spot tomorrow yeah Yeah. let's do it oh sounds good what was it called you should do it too and you? I don't live here. Oh, I've oh, driven out too much for you but guys. You've been, this you've been to this spot before. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's actually got my name passed on it. I've got a sick photo of me backflipping off it with the harbour in the background. Oh, nice. Come on. Yeah. Come on. yeah. The, the challenge yeah. has been set, boys. It's where we took error. When they're oh yeah, that was really pretty. Ball. Yeah, we, we had a nice little sunset, sunset, sunset with, with dolphins in the water below beneath us. It yeah. was Never. fucking pretty. dolphins. Dolphins in the water yeah, below. Dolphins, yeah. Harbour sunset. Oh, where I swam, beautiful. where that spot I swam today. See whales? Uh, no, did, did, no. There was There's a lot of whales around at the moment. The yeah, so many. Yeah. Too busy looking yeah. at the waves in front of me. But <laughs> they like Jay said like they've known to like have like creatures be tossed into like the Lido, like the pool. Yeah. Like so I thought, and stuff. I thought that when I was swimming, I'm like, what if a fucking someone just comes sending it in? It's a like fox, jellyfish, <laughs> just wraps around you, knocking you. Shark, fucking... you're in the wrong part of Australia. You're safe. Yeah, yeah okay. Right. Yeah. I can take it back to music to finish it up here. Fair. You guys have a <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we need to be on track. A bit. You're like, I'm late for my fucking gig. <laughs> no, I've got. I, I saw on his watch. I've got time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for that mayonnaise segue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cut that whole thing out. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> no, the. Uh, I like that there's a good mix of bands on this tour, sound-wise. Yeah. Was that a conscious thing for you guys booking that? And what do you look for in artists now you guys are doing more headline stuff? I think that now, like, sports? for me anyway, now that metalcore has been sort of, it's so massive now, there's so many sub-genres and bands doing different things within metal or metalcore. I think it's, you know, diverse lineups are a really good thing to Hell show yeah. what people, even yeah. in different countries, are doing in, in, in yeah. their worlds, do you know what I mean? And yeah, I think just, you know, boundaries are a bit more death metal, you might say. And, you know, so it adds, you know, it adds different vibes from each band. I think it's, for me, it's a conscious thing. I like, think, yeah, our band contains like a, a few genres with yeah. it. So it's always nice to sometimes get a punky band, yeah. Stig and metal band to compliment because we don't, we're very unsure of what genre we really are when it comes down to it. So I often like forget that it's like a showcasing opportunity. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So like, so I, I've started to think that like part of it's about showcase and then I try and think part of it's about like if we were going to this show tonight what like how do you put a collection of bands that our fan will like a bit of all of them you know what I mean have a better night so they're like man I was sick I saw this fucking cool band called Boundaries and Ocean Sleeper like gave me a different vibe then it's like six you go and then we play and you're like you haven't been like metalcore 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 you've been like you've been on a little journey to get there so like, yeah, I try and think of it a bit like that now. I like, think we've seen more on Paul, Johnny talked about this recently, more bands like having support that are quite a different like thing yeah. from them to keep it exciting. I think it's really cool for yeah. like a, a content perspective, come and watch that because you actually like, you said, you kind of get a bit like, oh, it's been blast beats for the last hour and I'm over it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, cool yeah. to have that mix up. Yeah, screaming clean chorus breakdown. Screaming clean chorus What's breakdown. What's a yeah. tell me uh, about it, bro. dream band? <laughs> Get him, Gallagher. Well, that's one the of the reasons that that why I've we've heard. tried to move into having a more diverse sound because I feel like metalcore has just been absolutely hammered. Like obviously, we came together when we, when I first joined the band and we loved. 2000s metalcore, you know, that's yeah. what we're all about. She did, did, do, 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 do. saying like, is that gonna come back hard? Has it's so good if it does. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna win it, I think. But it yeah, so is. I think that's why we've yeah. kind of moved on and tried to, you know, change it up a bit, because there's so many bands that we feel like push you through the metalcore machine and it's just like it's you say first core and scream but you know what I mean and yeah so we're just trying new things to make it fresh what's yeah. a band you each get to pick one that you want to support what's a dream band to support you you guys are headlining to support us yeah, yeah. yeah. but it doesn't matter Any how band. big they are yeah 
to support us. Mm. I, I'd, I'd say Oasis to support them just to hear what the Gallagher's nah, that's fucking show. I love them. I'm trying to think who I'm enjoying at the moment. I'm really enjoying the new Many Eyes record. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys have done it, but oh, fucking... We're being Keith. Yeah, 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 I love yeah. Keith. I, like, I struggle with metal. Like, yeah. I don't, don't listen to a great deal of it. Love fucking ambience and yeah. fucking mm-hmm. love rap as well and like Do you know and thieves? love punk no I don't know thieves F-I-E-V-E-S they're okay. British thieves thieves fucking sick thieves. it's like yeah. it's like house music but like garage rap over the top I only discovered them recently they're like cool. hella small listening yeah I've been recommending them to everyone because yeah I think a sick. collaborative one for us would be thrice <sighs> yeah like thrice Paul does you've just, just like mentioned my two favourite artists because yeah. they fucking know what we're talking about, bro. Oh, you didn't mention them. You don't yeah, get any credit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you said, uh, you said Liam Gallagher. <laughs> Thrice are like, uh, like, they're like our dads. So you know, like, we like grew up in like, yeah. what, what, what shall we do? Yeah. And we're like, ah, That's right. Serious. Like, yeah, like, so we love it. They were like, one of those. They oh, were, oh, right. <laughs> Yeah. Master Splinter. Hey, oh, brother. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My yeah. brother. <laughs> He's a big He's coming over here. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big boy. Shit. Get some mail on that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I can see you guys being big fans, like simply because, like, same with like Bring Me being big fans of them, because they were one of those bands that, as soon as they sort of started to get really big, they broke out of that machine that they were in at the time. Yeah. Started trying things Still differently. Did what they won though, didn't they? Yeah. They're like, that's admirable when you see someone doing that. I'm like. And I went on that journey with them as I got older. Yeah. I wasn't the same person when Others of Safety came out as I was when like the PS2 came out or yeah. anything later and so like for me they've kind of suited my life as it's yeah, been, like there's bits where I've departed and not paid attention do you know what I mean and then come back it's like I've that all my favourite bands kind of have done that mm. like and that's like a, a cool thing for us as a subconscious influence there whereas where it's like We've, we're down to sort of grow with our audience if you've been with us for years then yeah like, yeah but it's good because it shows you that if it's done like with authenticity and passion and the intent is not just to be different but to be yourselves explore yourselves as artists yeah. and and create something that you honestly believe in i feel like it, it's unfortunate that every genre is going to have like it, it's like predominantly things like metalcore where it's got those elitists that aren't down with that oh yeah man. and fuck them though it does suck but yeah. it's like it's just an like inevitable change like you said if you're going to be true to yourself it's it has to change yeah because if you if you stay the same then it's it's evident that you're not being true to yourself because we all change over time yeah so you and have the, to be the fans of the band as well they listen to your own record and they like they're like being and out of records or whatever they come to a show and see you play but when you're living in it yeah. you've got to keep it fresh for yourself first yeah. you know yeah. like yeah. you've got to keep the studio life basically you've got to yeah. keep your life it like, goes exciting. fast like this we're fucking 20 years almost 20 years in like and we like we blinked and we're like fucking hell are we like here yeah and so like if you need to if you want to like get, get anything done in your life you really need to do it because it's kind of just going to go if not and like so I'm just down to like do whatever the fuck we want because fuck, fuck around and find out fuck around and find out yeah. Yeah. fickle and fast fickle and fast baby <laughs> and I'm going to do it and mayo and everything yeah if there's one takeaway here it's <laughs> don't commit to anything and have mayo keep <laughs> invest into <laughs> Lozard's companies and we'll see how they go and yeah I'm, keep an eye on yeah. them yeah. Lozard's Inflatables keep your eyes on for Lozard's Inflatables <laughs> Inflatable Edible Tarantulas it's such a weird thing that you're trying to make that Taylor's Inflatables <laughs> Taylor's Inflatables <laughs> this is because I've got a blow up hot tub what? And, uh, it just inflatable. makes me well, think because of our drummer Saab said that you're <laughs> super inflatable, right? And when he said that, what did he say? You're proper inflatable. Well, it started because there's, no, there's a shop in the UK that's called The Range, and it's like it's your when range, he said it, it's crap. It's your range is over. But when he said it, I thought <laughs> he meant the range is over. When he said it to me, I thought he meant that Loz is like super inflatable <laughs> himself, and I agreed with Saab. I'm like, isn't it? Well, like, like stuck up. I don't know, like, like as if you'd look too ar- if arrogant. No, like, no, you're like one of those wacky inflatable. Exactly. I thought he meant that, and I'm like. Yeah. Actually, you do a little bit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. It's your stage moves. They're great. I like them. They are fantastic. Yeah. Well, they ain't going to change. He's so. pitching for inflatables on stage. No, it just... I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Like, no, I'll get you some of the Johnny Mayer. No, I'm not. Pitch your man in the crowd. He's very hey, touchy about his inflatables. inflatables on stage. Uh, you're not really doing no, that. Exactly. You're genuinely about our audio sample. 
when I ordered the shirts, I was like, so he also got shirts, and he's gonna make all of the bands that we chat at good things to wear a shirt with my fucking I'll show face. You. I took a photo nice. of someone the other day. You should be stoked, bro. I feel like I'm being used. Yeah, you uh, should give me one of those sex dolls and all. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah see, see what right. they'll do. With. See, that's what I get when you say inflatables. It makes me feel a bit weird, like I'm into weird kinky oh. shit. No, no you, do you remember the layback phase? Those bags that you like run with, and then you like. Get the end that it's They're like probably invented over. Oh there, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, and then it's like yeah. a sofa. Yeah, <laughs> you like Those roll with it and you fill it with air and then you roll the top and clip it and you can. It's and you can just sit on it. Yeah, sit on yeah, it on the beach. Yeah. I got one of those. This yeah. is not pitch. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just telling you what it is. That's not pitch. <laughs> I'm just telling what it fucking is. It's because I've got like I try and have like a wellness center at home. So I've got like you trying to have your own. Got like a pop up sauna, a so like a, a it's jacuzzi. All inflatable, like. Like, <laughs> but really, you're just stitching everyone up, and they're going in there, and they're just blowing up all of your inflatables by your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I regret everything. Uh, we're to have you. We love your ideas. We great. think they're great. Thanks. Yeah, and we're also starting to finally have you on the channel. This is, yes, yeah, yeah well, we've already had you. Yeah. Yeah, no, we didn't. Interview a good that wasn't us. That was for good things. Oh yeah, oh, that's actually better than our channel. Yeah, we so, always watch the our, like the reaction stuff. Yeah, I've never I, seen I, you watch it. What? You know, I'm married. You don't come around to mine. He doesn't watch it with you because you'll be negative. <laughs> oh, these fuckers again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm negative. Just true. Now we love we love the show. Too, <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah. 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 well, yeah, it's a pleasure, guys. It's a pleasure. And if you drop some new music, we'll we'll review that as well. Fuck yeah, appreciate it. We'll try. Me news. <laughs>